Hi everyone, this is Sarah Zafar and you're watching my YouTube cooking channel and today's session is an easy recipe on how to make Afghan chicken kebab. So be sure to learn how to marinate this and let's take a look at the recipe. And the recipe to make Afghan style of uh, chicken tikka kebab. So here I have is approximately just a little over 3 pounds of chicken breast and it is boneless. So I have chopped them into a medium size to small um, cubes here. Don't make it too smaller because it will melt down as you uh, cook it on your charcoal or a barbecue. Uh, you can choose to go with breast bone in, but I like it boneless. So at the same time here I'm using is a half of the large red onion. So I made it into puree because we need the juice. I have a half a cup of plain yogurt, approximately about eight clove of garlic. And for spices, I'll be using salt per your taste turmeric powder, black pepper, and I like mine spicy, so that's a uh, chili pepper. It's a half a teaspoon of each, or you can use one teaspoon. So let's go to the marination part. So you'll need a bowl, so into this I'm going to add, next I'm going to add the garlic to this, and the yogurt. It's time for the spices. So red chili pepper, black pepper, Salt per your own taste, I'm going to start with one teaspoon and some turmeric powder. If you don't like turmeric powder, you can make it optional, but it's really good. Now with this onions, because we need the juice, so I'm going to use a clean cloth, which I usually use it for my kitchen for the surface, or you can use a cheese cloth or anything else that you're comfortable with to uh, take the juice. So you're going to do your best to squeeze out all the juice. Of the onions so for the color of this kebab there are three ways you can use different type of spices or colors a lot of people uses the liquid of a saffron color to give it that yellowness or you can use um, ready-made masala of chicken tandoori if you like but I simply going to add a couple drop of red color again coloring is optional but if you want you can choose between those three so I have added a couple drop of red color, again that's optional, so I'm going to mix everything very well. After giving it a good mix, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of oil and mix it again. So now you're going to wrap this with surrounding plastic wrap and keep this in your fridge. You can marinate this overnight or at least give it three hours so all the spices and marination can observe the meat here and then I'm going to barbecue this or you can use your charcoal. So next here is the important part. When you're cooking the kebabs, you need a side of oil and spices mix in it to spread on top of the um, kebab, like you have to brush it out to give it more flavor. So I'm going to add uh, some oil, maybe about a half a cup here. You don't have to use all of them, it's just to spread it. Um, I'm going to add um, my spices. Now you can buy a ready-made spice like chicken tikka or a tandoori chicken or you can use from scratch like I'm using my basic spices. So I'm going to add a half a, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a little bit of uh, garam masala, uh, some salt of course because I added a little bit so half a teaspoon. I like mine spicy so I'm going to add a little bit of uh, chili powder. And that's about it. So just give it a good mix and this would be um, used on top of the kebab. Alright guys, so it's now time to prepare the uh, kebabs and uh, cook them. So here we call this sikh, which is the skewers that you need to fill in the um, kebabs in. And then the marination, I have marinated for three hours. So I'm going to now cook this. Make sure you give it a good mix before you. Alright guys, so now it's time to barbecue the chicken kebabs. So I have prepared them. Make sure that you start off uh, the um, barbecue with the high heat and then keep it to medium. When you get a chance to flip them, it's time to spread the um, oil and the spices that I have mixed, the mixture, because this will 
uh, stop it from being stick to the barbecue and you can always spray oil um, to the barbecue as well ahead of time if you like so it doesn't get stick alright guys so um, this chicken kebab is ready so I'm going to serve this now alright guys so here was an easy recipe on how to make Afghan style of chicken kebab I'm serving this with the red chutney we call this chutney surf um, I already have loaded recipe on this uh, for you guys before but I'll leave a link below to show to show you guys on how to make this chutney and also another link I'll indicate which is the green chutney so you can serve this with a side of a salad and I have a pita bread here with it or any other type of naan bread you like give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching today's session help me uh, share the recipe with your friends and family of course with the original link uh, I request you all to please do not download. Um, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.